Today we are going to discuss the artboard tool. The artboard tool is basically used by the UX designers, people who are engaged in developing the user interface, the front end pages for mobile applications for websites. So let's go ahead and learn about this tool. The artboard tool basically, like I said, is used for the UX and web designing. It basically helps and streamline their design process. The artboard tool gives them an infinite canvas on which they can lay out their designs for different devices and screens. We have preset sizes that are around 35 plus artboard sizes like we have sizes for the iPhone, the MacBook Pro for tablets and you can choose any one you like or you can define your own custom artboard size. So let's move into Photoshop and use this artboard tool to create our own design. Let's dive in Photoshop. The artboard tool in Photoshop lets us draw the various canvases when it comes to UX or web or mobile designers. So it's basically used for designers. So here we have the artboard, artboard tool just below the move tool. So we can create you know, our custom artboard designers. We can also have the, these defined we have for the iPhones, we have for the iPhone 7, so the MacBooks, or you can have your own for Androids. We can have our own customs. If I'm going for a 6, so this is my size for 6, and I can start working on this. So this will be my exact layout. So I know how much size I'm going to have, and I'm going to design my stuff according to that. So I can again go here to the Apple tool and select my size. I can go for a iPhone 6, which would be a little smaller, and I can go ahead and start. So this is my artboard tool wherein I decide. So I can say, for instance, so let me go ahead and select another tool. So I'm going to select a custom size, and, and this is my new artboard. So I can have work in two artboards. So I can go and hide my this artboard one and only work on this. Now, if I have a picture, like maybe I'm designing a website or a mobile design for maybe yoga and health website, and I can use these pictures, and these pictures will only be placed in my artboard. So I can have, you know, I can add icons, I can have buttons, I can actually design my entire app based on this. So whatever my design is, I can start, and it will only occupy that space, and I can have my entire page. I can go ahead and design you know, buttons here, interfaces here, and have an entire mobile app or my web design. So Arbo tool comes very handy for the UX designers when they're designing their interface on Photoshop. Thank you for listening to this tutorial on tutorialspoint.com.